Hello, y'all. Today is uh, Wednesday, March 9th, 2022 at 7.35 a.m. I think I went to bed at like 10.45 last night. But I don't remember how long it took me to go to sleep, but it took a little while. And then I woke up at about... Uh, Excuse me, it was before 5.45 this morning that I woke up and tried a couple of times to go back to sleep, but couldn't. But now I'm still sleepy, but feeling a sleep-deprived feeling, but still can't go back to sleep. It's kind of like a torturous feeling. <clears throat> and then I have to be up, I mean, be gone, you know, in a few hours. I don't know what to expect about later on, but um, this is what I'm going through right now. I can't even think properly because I'm still tired. But <clears throat> with the um, Social Security, um, I, I looked. And I have not gotten any SSI because I worked, you know, for a few months. I have not gotten any SSI money since June 1st of last year. And so they've been taking out the SSI money even on months where I don't work. So I haven't worked since December, but it's March and I still never got an um, SSI check, just Social Security. So, um, I'm saying that the social security system is all kinds of messed up and, and they don't even care to try to correct or fix anything. And so if I were, I mean, I think the offices are still, the physical offices are still closed. So even if I were to go to the physical, like if nowadays, See, back then you used to be able to handle stuff over the phone too, but nowadays you can't handle anything over the phone. I mean, over the national hotline because they'll refer you to the local office. And so, if you try to um, go to the local office as a targeted, a disabled targeted individual, the person behind that plexiglass or whatever, you know would think that they're big and bad and bold and act abusive and oppressive and play all kinds of psychological games with you. So, Social Security is trying to make it like as if I owe them debt and like I owe them money and they're threatening to garnish uh, whatever through any, any means necessary. You know, um, I don't want to go into too much detail because of the perps, <clears throat> but you know, that they're, they're threatening to, um, you know, they threat, they want to make it like they're taking legal action and falsely saying that I owe them money when they've been taking out the SSI every month. So I shouldn't have to owe them anything at all. <clears throat> So, um, if, if they've been taken out, they, they actually, actually, they're, the way that they took out everything, I, I mean, they took out Social Security, I mean, not Social Security, I mean, they took out the SSI on months where, even where I wasn't working, they're the ones, they should owe me money. They should owe me back pay. So they try to make it like as if they made an overpayment and stuff like that. But they, t they as I said, you know, they, they're the ones who should be owing me back pay. <clears throat> so, um, you know, so I, I need to, I, I, I mean, I need a way to try to get this straightened out. But as I said, I think the offices are still closed. The physical offices, and if I were to call them, I mean, if I were to physical, if they were, the offices were open, and even on the phone, they get abusive, 
and play all kinds of psycho. Get, they get abusive and, and 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 get hostile and get an attitude and play all kinds of psychological games with you and try to provoke you to lose your like, especially when you're in the office. You know, they try to provoke you to lose your temper, and then when you do get angry and storm up out of there, they they you know they ignorantly laugh. <clears throat> and so, um, I didn't realize it was part of the gang stalking that when, whenever you do business with the social security people, or if you go to the DMV, or if you go to the food stamp office, the section eight office or whatever, and they get an attitude with you because they're gang stalkers, narcissistic perps. So, um, I don't know what to brace for or what to expect, but I guess I have to expect the foot, you know, how people say expect, hope, I mean, expect the worst, but hope for the best or something like that. <clears throat> so, um, it's pretty insulting, you know, to try to make it like, is there something is wrong with the person's mental health? But I know people would try to say, well, choose your words carefully and stuff like that. and Or don't talk at all about anybody stalking and following and harassing you. But in past psychological evaluations, brand new fake doc doctors who are my new doctor, would, um, who know nothing about me, all they got to do is hear, um, <clears throat> hear like 30 seconds of talk about my family being abusive. And then they automatically give a false diagnosis in a mental hospital talking about, oh, you're schizo effective. Dr. Chakraborty, the childhood psychiatrist and a lot of the other psychiatrists, they would have never diagnosed me with schizo effective. So these doctors who know nothing about me, they just throw out random diagnosis just for money. And they're destroying your soul for money. <clears throat>